just want to talk about Vosic X42. This is the beta version, so it's very initial stage. Uh, it works uh, several things, but some other things are not working yet, but uh, I'm really working daily, really, so it's going to be very fast. Uh, the first thing you have to understand is that the Vosic X42 uh, needs to have a list of plugins for the input, for the source, and then it's going to create another list as the target. So I'm going to open here. You can open either the 32-bit or the 64-bit, depending on the Windows version you have. I'm going to open the 64-bit, but both can work with the 32 plugins and the 64-bit version allows you to work with 64-bit plugins too. So the first thing you have to work is the Source Plugins Manager. So I'm going to click on this, and it's going to open my list of plugins. So by default, it's going to be blank, like this. And the first thing you're going to do is click on Options and Scan for VST. The VST tree is not working very correctly yet, but I'm working on that already. So I have put my folders here. So another thing you have to, to understand is that these folders are for my plugins list and I'm not using these folders on my sequencers and uh, hosts. Otherwise I would uh, end up with duplicated plugins. So this is just my input folders that I'm no longer using on my hosts. And I'm going to scan these folders it's very, very quick on this machine. So it's checking one by one all the details that uh, I need to use. Okay, so I have, have created a list. You can click on a plugin and also edit if it if, if for some reason is not uh, detecting as an instrument or is detecting as an effect instead of instrument, you can change it here. You can select to hide it or middle click to hide plugins or just go on options, hide all, and then select the ones you want to show. So I'm going to select two plugins here. And you can also click and edit the custom name You can see the one is 32 bits and the order is 64 bits. So I have my two plugins here. Let me select another one here as an effect. So let's say the, this one is a gate from, from Reaper. Gate. So I have changed the custom name for each one. Uh, not this one actually, but you get the idea. So I'm going to close here now. And I'm going to select to, to regenerate, oh, it closed the program. Okay, let me open again and check if everything is right there. Yeah, it's right. I don't know what's closing. It wasn't doing this before. So probably, but I just found it, but uh, it's not a big deal. I can fix that after the video. So I'm going to select VST2 for my uh, target plugins. And I can select either 32 or 64 bits. The, the nice thing about this here, let's say I'm running Windows 10, 64 bits, but I have a host, a very old host that only works in 32 bits and only works with, with VST2 and 32 bit plugins. So if I select 32 bits here, even, the, even though I, I have three plugins on my list that are 64 bits, it doesn't matter because it's going to create 32 bit plugins for all the plugins on the list. But when it opens the plugin, it's going to create a bridge of 64 bits, if it's for 64 bits or 32 bits. So just create update target plugins. So what it does, it created here on the Vuzic X32 data and under 
plugins and VST2. It creates a list of plugins with the X information that I use. And every time you click update, it's going to wipe out all the files on this folder and create the list. So this is the folder you use on your host now. You forget about the other folders. Those are going to be hiding from, from uh, the host you use, and you use this folder instead. So to test this out, I'm just going to open here Vuzik P2032 bits. I'm going to go to my plugins manager. So I'm going to clear my list here, and I'm going to scan, and I'm going to use just the X42 plugins list here. I'm going to click scan. Uh, the extra plugins are part of Vuzik P2000, so ignore those on the list. They always scan, but the new ones are here. The Square, and Vuzik Station, and Vuzik Eve, even though they are 64 bit plugins. But they are showing here because I'm creating a bridge for them. So if I go here and insert Vuzik Station version 9, it already loaded, and if I open the editor, there it is. So it shows Vuzik 42 here on the top because it's bridging the, the plugin. And uh, what happens is that uh, it allows you to use both types of plugins on any host you want. So it's very handy. So I'm going to open our square one, which is 32 bits. And there you go, 32 bits, it's working. It created this extra window because I haven't found yet a way to incorporate the British Edge Tour in here. So for now it has this extra window, but uh, soon I may find a better way to do that. So, so that's it. So on this video, it's just a, a quick over, overlook of Vuzik X42. This is very beta for now. You can see that I have some problems to fix already. And uh, But if you guys help me out beta testing and giving me feedback, I can improve this faster and finish it faster too. So we can all use that. So that's it. Thanks for watching.